are watching Yes, the Yankees Entertainment and Sports Network. not a lot of smiling faces for the Nets Friday night in Boston. But tonight is a new evening. And at Barclays Center, the Nets trying to change the mood. What better thing to do that than to break out the dance moves? Rondé Hollis Jefferson not getting any love from Markel Brown. It's the Nets against the Celtics in the second of four meetings this season. And Brooklyn Nets basketball on yes is presented by Verizon Fires. Hey everybody, Ryan Rucco alongside Jim Spinarco. Happy to be with you on this Sunday evening here on Yes. Well, Friday night, not a good one for the Nets. A 120 to 95 loss to the same Celtics the Nets will face here today. And Jim, I think it was a little confusing for some Nets fans because up late, even though the wins haven't been coming, the Nets have been playing much more competitive basketball. So what happened Friday? Well, part of it, Ryan, I think is the matchups with this Celtic team. They really don't match up great with them, but there was a lack of consistency at the defensive end and really protecting the pain area. Double team down low, allowing the Celtics to do really what they want. And if they can continue to get the guards coming down the middle of the floor and kicking it out, guys cannot react quickly enough. Here's some transition. Where are the defenders on these shots? They're a second or two late. Consequently, you have opportunities down the other end of the floor. Celtics are the best in the league at turning you over and going down the other end of the floor with their fast break opportunities. So the Nets really have to protect the basketball this evening. And the second quarter swung this game. The Celtics put up 43 points. They were 18 of 21 from the floor. They just missed three threes, 15 assists, 20 points in the paint, and it was the most points they had in any quarter since 1996. Now, tonight, a new challenge for the Nets against the same team. So the question is, Jim, how do they bounce back? What kind of adjustments do they make? Brian, I think you have to really have a gut check if you're in that. So Friday night in Boston's that second quarter, we just documented it was not very good so what you need to do is you need to look at the film on the day off really make some adjustments and then come out here and prove to the Celtics that you're competitive and you're willing to play with them I think this is a very important game for that matter for Lionel Hollins's team to see how they react after the Boston Celtics took it to them on Friday well the Nets seeing the Celtics for the second time in three days we learn more about them from their color commentator and former net Brian Scalabrini with Sarah next on yes Fans, please welcome tonight's basketball buddies, featuring kids from Spotlight Studios of Dance from Manpack, New York, and kids of friends and family of the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for tonight's presentation of colors. Presented by the Brentwood High School Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard from Brentwood, New York. Tonight's National Anthem Singer is presented by Master and Dynamic. And now, to honor America and salute the men and women serving our country, a recording artist with her hit single entitled Can't Keep Up on iTunes, please welcome Brianna DeVlute. 